Okay, on to the next step, getting under contract. So you've sent your offer over to the seller of this house and now they review it and have a few options once they review it. They can choose not to respond to you, they can negotiate with you, or they can just accept your offer as is. Let's talk about that. Why would they choose not to respond to you? Well, let's just say that they get an offer from someone else that they like better. So they just don't say anything back to you. It happens. What happens to your contract if they don't respond? Well, it has an acceptance date and time deadline, so it expires shortly thereafter when the seller doesn't sign it. Okay, so what's the other option? They negotiate with you. And you can go back and forth on negotiations until you reach some sort of acceptable compromise for both of you. And if you don't find a good compromise and you're not happy with the way the contract's going back and forth, you can just walk away. The last thing is, maybe they just like your offer so much and they accept it as is and sign it. Once a buyer and a seller sign a contract, it becomes officially binding, which makes you under contract to buy your future home. <laughs>